Yeah, hi guys, it's Techzilla back again. This time I've got a quick review of the Spigen Glass TR Slim Premium Tempered Glass Screen Protector for the iPhone 7 Plus. It's 9H hardness, extreme durability and perfect grip, rounded borders, anti-chip, and it's made by Spigen. I've already opened it up, I haven't installed it yet. So let's have a look at the features. Whole transparency, olophobic coating, real glass, perfect adhesion, 9H hardness, delicate touch. So that's that. It's about $5.99, something like that. I'll leave a link in the description, guys, so check that out. Um, in there, you get this wet wipe or alcohol wipe, whatever you want to call it, guys dust removal stickers because we all know we need them the actual glass screen protector itself now this isn't a full edge to edge one um, they're quite difficult to come by but I'll be installing it live on camera fuck ups as well guys you've got a little chamois cloth with the Spigen branding on it which is quite nice you can see that there and the installation guide after washing your hands, thoroughly clean the screen of the device with the wet cleaner. Peel off the protective film from the back of the glass by using the tab marked back. Align the glass with the device by holding the edges of each end and gently place a glass on the front of your device. Simple, blah, blah, blah. We know all that. So, without further ado, let's get this show on the road. Now, I'll be doing this live, so I'll probably screw it up, guys. So, I'll bear that in mind. Because I don't like doing these sort of things on camera, but I get asked so much by people to do them on camera. All right, here's the wet wipe, the alcoholic cloth. If I can get it open, there we go. So give the screen a quick wipe. I've just literally done the unboxing, guys, of this phone. So I haven't even put the SIM card in or used it. So I'm literally doing this with you guys. See, there's still stuff all over it. Little flecks and... I give my hands a quick wipe. Fingertips anyway. The same... Oh, it stinks. It smells like a uh, nail varnish remover, guys. You know that horrible smell. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm just blowing off the dust. Very staticky. Sorry guys, just bear with me. Just give that a quick wipe. It's just sticking like anything, this lint. You know what, let's just use the dust removal stickers. might be easier Right, I've de-dusted it now. Now let's put this on. I'll peel off the back here quick guys and I'll try and get this done as soon as possible. Let me just bring it back here for a minute so I can see what I'm doing. You 
happens to me guys it's just difficult to see the alignment correctly No, that's not quite right. Sorry guys, I've just got some severe OCD, so I'm trying to line this sucker up. That probably needs lifting higher. See how well this works. Sorry guys, I have to get this perfectly aligned so I can do some case tests as well, otherwise they're not going to work properly. Right, that's pretty much lined up now guys. So they say press the center and let it do its magic. It's going, it's going, can you see that guys? I don't know if you can see that, there you go, that's better. Right, it's stopped. It's unusual this one because it's actually got the camera covered as well. So I hope that doesn't mess up the front facing camera. Right, let's peel this top layer off and look straight away Look at that d big piece of fluff stuck under there. That's going to irritate the crap out of me. Let's have a look. Is that fluff? Is that dirt? That's dirt, guys. So let me... While I'm doing this live, you might as well see what I'm doing. So let's pull this off. Let's pull this up. I know it's taking long guys, but I keep getting asked to, be sh to show this stuff live. And if you do stuff live without editing, this is what happens. You know what, let me try and lift it up. Gently or I'm going to smash it. It will break, guaranteed. Let's slip this under here. Get that piece of dust out. There's a little bit on that side. Now let's relay that down. That will do guys, there's bits of, there's a little bit of fluff stuck under there, but I can't be bothered with it right now. Anyway, that's it installed. What do you reckon guys? Slightly off centre. Let's get this out of the way. Just slightly, it's going to affect my OCD something seriously. Yep, that's slightly misaligned guys, so I'm going to have to reapply it, but it's not a bad screen protector and it goes, <clears throat> it doesn't go right to the edges, if you check that out. But Spigen, they're a good brand, they make good screen protectors normally. I use them on a lot of my devices. I've got more coming anyway guys, so don't worry about it. Anyway, I'll leave a link in the description where you can pick this up from. Hit that subscribe button, I've got loads of cases coming up loads of screen protectors I've got the brand new Monarch um, case from UAG that I'll be reviewing as well that they sent out to me and this is going to be one of the best cases guaranteed for the iPhone 7 Plus anyway guys take care and I'll see you all again soon bye for now